What do you know about leafcutter bees? What makes a species of bee so special and how can you make them part of your life? As you can see, you don't need any protective equipment. These bees aren't razzing me or anything, they're just flying around my head. Friendly little bees. Leafcutter bees are gentle, non-aggressive, solitary bees which stay close to their home. They are also known as super pollinators, carrying dry pollen on their hairy underside and leaving some of this pollen on every flower they visit. Leafcutter bees are very small and work in unison with other types of bees. A single female leafcutter bee may visit thousands of blossoms in a day. If there are adequate flowers to forage on, these small bees will stay within 100 to 200 meters of their nesting habitat, so the benefits of their pollination will be seen close at hand. Leafcutter bees are not aggressive and do not defend their nesting area, so your kids and pets won't be bothered by these bees. This solitary species does not build colonies or store honey. Instead, they make leaf cocoons packed with a pollen nectar paste as a food source for their larva. Backyard pollinator products are unique. When ordered online, the nesting blocks contain live leafcutter bee larvae ready to hatch, fly and pollinate in the warm summer months. If purchased through our retail partners, the cocoons are sent separately by a Canada Post in the spring. With the purchase of a backyard pollinator, you are receiving a product directly from our family farm in central Saskatchewan. In the spring months when the growing season begins, trays of dormant larvae are warmed up to begin their development. Hatching of the bees is carefully timed to coincide with the blossoming of the alfalfa crops. In late June, we take millions of hatched bees to the fields, placing three to four trays in each blue hut. The bees immediately begin flying, mating, collecting nectar and pollen, and making cocoons to hold their babies. At the end of summer, we bring in the nesting blocks full of new cocoons. To make our back hair pollinator products, we cut the nesting blocks with bee larvae inside. Next, they are stamped and packaged for mailing to customers like you. Our cedar bee barns are built by our partners, Futuristic Industries, in Humboldt, Saskatchewan, and we have a DIY version for those who like woodworking projects. When daytime temperatures are consistently above 20 degrees Celsius, your backyard pollinator can be placed outside to begin hatching the larva. Be very patient. It can take four to six weeks before you see bees emerge. These warm weather pollinators love a 30 degrees Celsius day, so July and August are the best time to observe the activity of leafcutter bees. It is important that your backyard pollinator is placed in a protected location where it won't get wet. The sunny south or east side of your house will provide the warmth that these bees enjoy. Backyard pollinator products appeal to the curiosity of all nature enthusiasts and will bring enjoyment to anyone who wants to improve their local environment through pollination. Above all, we want people to experience our small, friendly, solitary bees. We hope you will sit, relax and enjoy their company in your backyard. Why not try a new adventure? Hatch some leafcutter bees this summer.